Hey everyone, Ian is here and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create this cool interactive animation using PowerPoint. I've created this entire animation in PowerPoint and I'll show you exactly how to recreate this buster. And don't worry if you're new here, this tutorial is going to be super easy to follow. Okay, so let's start with the basics. We've got a blank slide in front of us. The first step is to clear out all the default placeholders. Just select all and delete them. Now we want to create a beautiful background. So we'll go over the format background. Once you're here, choose picture or texture fill under the fill option. Now select a nice texture which fits our theme. I think this one is perfect. Kind of use that budget natural vibrate. Next we need a bold title to catch attention. I'm adding a text box right here. Then I'm using a strong bold font. And I'm increasing the font size to 66 points. Don't be afraid to make your large titles because it is the first thing people will notice. Now for the color, I'm picking a rich brown, something that complements the earthy feel. And now there's our title. After that, I'll quickly add some content to provide context, which is just a brief overview of our topic. And that's our first slide done. Alright, moving on this slide 2. This one's going to be all images and some key facts. Now starting with a blank slide. First, insert a high quality image. Make sure it's a good one. Uh, drag it to the right side of the slide so we can make a space for the text. Now what I'll do is, now I'll copy the heading from the first slide to maintain the consistency. Uh, then paste it on the second slide and let's replace the text with a brief description of the species. Remember, not too much text. You want your audience to focus on the visuals and keep it simple and easy to understand. I'm keeping the text short and sweet with the bullet points. So we are done with our second slide. And now let's move on to the slide 3. We are keeping it consistent, so I'm starting with another blank slide. I'll insert a new image. These huge creatures are also critically endangered. Now I'm resizing it and placing it to the right side. Just like we did before. As always, copy the text from the previous slide and replace it with the new information about the next species. I'm arranging the text in the middle this time to ensure better alignment. This keeps everything looking balanced and professional. And just like that, we have also completed uh, this slide. And here we are at slide 4, the final slide of our presentation. We'll follow the same steps like Adding a blank slide, insert an image, resize it and drag it to the right side. Then I'll add the title and wrap up with the concluding contents. And just like that, we have created a simple yet good presentation. But we are not done yet. We need to bring it all together with some animations. Now for the final step, let's make this interactive by adding zoom animations. Head back to the slide 1, click on the insert tab and select zoom. From here, go to slide, go to slide zoom and select these last three slides we created. Once inserted, you can arrange them however you like on the first slide. Now I am arranging it like this. To make this even smoother, click on each image and check the return to zoom option. This will ensure that when you click on an image, it returns you to the first slide instead of jumping to the next. And for our final touch, let's add a sticky note effect to make it look more engaging. And for that, I'm going to select this card design from the zoom presets. You can choose any design you want and going with this one. Let's also add a pin icon to be in the sticky note vibe. Thank you so much for following along. If you found this tutorial helpful, please consider supporting the channel by liking, sharing and subscribing. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss another tutorial. Until next time, stay creative and stay informed. And also check the description for the full PowerPoint download link so you can use it yourself.